Wonderful series! We're doing it again! Skid ideas I take from the audience that you comment on this thing. Let's go! Number three, the life of Timmy, the kid your Asian dad always compares you to. All the things Steven's dad complains about, like Steven being. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I get it. That could be pretty good. The two could be one video. Also, 1.3 thousand likes. I gotta do it. Ooh, my last video made 80 bucks. <laughs> that can't even buy five eggs. Why like, can't you be like your cousin Timmy, huh? He made that in his sleep. What? No, Timmy's barely out of school. Exactly. Timmy graduated with good career. You graduate with a degree and sleeping till 2 p.m. Timmy starts off with good salary. You start off with student loan debt. I almost paid it off, by the way. Come on, like, what could it be up to? It can't be that great. What the hell? Can't be great. Timmy does three jobs and runs a business on the side. Yeah, okay, but like, like what? I heard from your uncle that Timmy runs financial transactions for a multi-billion dollar company. Uh, with the new addition, plus our existing inventory layer, we meet the condition to trigger limited time special pricing, okay? So with that, the total come to $5.99. Would you like fries with that? Also, layer, we have a, a two-for-one menu. You can mix and match dollar menu item. Okay, that's, that's cool, that's cool, but like... I'm a YouTuber and I just made like 80 bucks. Okay, his second job, general manager of the whole department of sanitary technicians. Hundreds of people depend on him. Timmy can be considered the most important person in the building. Okay, that, that's impressive. I'll give you that, but like, I got my own show. Like he's launching on this channel, subscribe. So job. Timmy Lett, chemistry specialist in globally successful corporation. His skill set so advanced you got the master it in 10 years. Uh, Vinti Latte One Pump Classic Syrup for Gyoki, Gyoki. Oh, oh, sorry. For George. Alright, okay. Probably makes a decent living. He makes half a million dollars a year. See, because there's this thing you never heard of called hard work. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you? Mm, yeah, can I get a job? A detective movie where the detective gets everything right about the villain with very little evidence. Okay, okay, that's it. Oof. Well, one murder, no suspects. What do you think, Durlock? Another set of footprints by the door. Placed so far from the victim's shoes, it couldn't possibly be his. Plus, those footprints are clearly left by a size 10 Erdogan 1 retro high OGs when the victim has size 8 Uggs. That means there must have been another person at the crime scene at the time of the murder. Two sets of footprints. That means there were at least two people at the time of the murder. Okay. Uh, I, I could I could have guessed because there's two meals, but I... I guess I didn't look at the shoes, that's pretty smart. Now, how did he die? Poison? Suffocation. Blunt force. Drowning? Hmm. Since this was a dinner meeting, poison would have been an obvious method of murder. But, judging by the fact that the food is untouched and the glasses are still full, poison is highly unlikely. No, no, it's not poison. It's, a uh, pretty obvious how he died. Blunt force? For a heated argument, one likely wouldn't have planted a weapon in advance, making common household items a convenient weapon to be used unexpectedly. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a stabbing. He was stabbed. A fallen chair. Chairs are heavy and easy to hold, making them perfect for swinging at someone unexpectedly. But that chair is perfectly clean with no fingerprints or damage, so it couldn't be. The blade is still in him. A face, also easy to hold. Large mass when swung acts effectively as a hammer. One swing could easily incapacitate the average adult, but would likely leave cracks or even shatter based on the condition of that face. The blade is still in him! He is he's stabbed! It's a stabbing! Botson figured it out. It's a stabbing. Wow. I didn't know Botson had this level of IQ. It doesn't take a genius to figure out he was stabbed! Okay, I don't care what color of flowers he likes in his face! Huh? But who did it? Box. The delivery man? Person who would have access to the building all times of the day who could easily enter and exit the premise without being suspected. Uh, so he, he wrote the murderer's name down when he died. This building has a concierge that takes down the visitors' names as they enter. But they didn't alert us of any guests in this apartment, which means the murderer lives in this building. It's on the floor! 
The name of the killer is on the floor! We were told the victim's only hobby outside of work is tennis on the Sundays. So if someone in this building happens to also be in the tennis club, that could be our prime suspect. The killer's ID is right there! Or commonly murders could happen from co-workers because they would have more motive out of jealousy or envy for monetary reasons. He took a selfie as he was stabbed! It's right there! But the victim is wearing slippers that probably can't well, afford the reason. Yeah, I'm just gonna go arrest him. You, you can come if you want. Or that could also mean they're a broke college student because. All right, you stay here. I'm gonna go uh, and do a jobs now. So best of luck. Uh, I'll see. I'll see you at dinner after I arrest this guy. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Really good friends with the cashier. If you like this idea, click the like button, and I'll do it again. If I know the like button is high, and I'll make you another one. Cheers. Ooh, did you see that catch? <laughs> I have no idea where the dog is. <laughs> Why do I do this? I just thought that would look funny in the bloopers and uh, now I regret doing it. <laughs>